Hello, I'm Nathan, and I'm currently your wellbeing president for Christchurch Student Union. Today, I'd like to talk about stress in my self-help tips video series. Now, I know that we're all feeling quite stressful at this moment through the uncertainty and the unknowingness of the constant change within government guidelines, our academic pressures and our own personal and private pressures. We may be needing to look after loved ones, kids, friends, family or anyone, or it could just be that own personal feeling within. And I just want to take this time just to acknowledge that with you all. But today I'd like to just run through some subtle signs that maybe is going on for you to recognise and then how we can just look to helping ourselves to let go of some of this stress. So some of the signs just to be aware of is that there might be stress and tension within the shoulders, there might be sleep issues, there's that constant worrying and, and anxiety that's going on within the overthinking mind. Or also we can have eating problems, we might be overindulging in certain foods, or we just might not be interested in any food at all. And these are all signs that we must kind of just acknowledge in ourselves to recognise, to feel into it and just realise that this is all part of stress. But there are some simple things that we can do together <clears throat> to clear that stress, to reduce some of that stress. So the first thing is I really want to talk about is being active. That exercise is well known to help to reduce stress, reduce that corseline levels. So even if it's a simple walk around the block, a cycle ride, it may be a bit of a longer walk, but of course, be mindful of the current guidelines that not go too, too far. Also, there could be exercise classes, and I know that Christchurch Sport offers some fantastic um, exercise classes weekly that's completely free, but also there's YouTube and other online resources that you could check out and research. That is, I want to say it's trial and error. It's not everyone's cup of tea to do an exercise class, but I know that I'm sure I want to say that there is something out there for you all. Now, also being mindful of not disconnecting away from people. Sometimes when we feel that stress and that overwhelming, that we just want to shut down. And, and it's, it can be just as simple as just talking to someone, ringing up a friend or a family member, and just talking out some of the worries and concerns that is going on within your life. Also, you can reach out to myself or anyone at the student union. Also, don't forget that we've still got the wellbeing services still operating at the library and they, they can help you as well. So let's just go through some little things. It's about trying to stay positive. Now I know it's really hard to stay positive, but it's having them little goals of achievement. It could be that you wanna just cook yourself a nutritious meal it could be that you're just going to ring up that friend or family member or someone just for some of some advice or some positive talk. It could just be that you achieve that walk daily. It's just having realistic goals that is can work for you in this point now. It's about taking control as well, not to put these worries to the side and hope that they go away. It's about acknowledging and recognising these so that then you can start to take action. And what can I do to help that? It could be that you might want to start to get into mindfulness. It could be that, of course, that exercise class, or it could be that you're just taking that time for you and you're just calming down. Now, the other thing as well is avoiding unhealthy habits. Now, it's very tempting when we're stressed to overindulge in maybe a bit more alcohol. If you smoke, smoking more, 
food might be more sugary fatty based food because they all kind of give us that sense of nurture and but in the long term it's quite destructive especially for our levels of stress so it's about just looking it into balance i don't believe in completely cutting it out i be, i look for what can we do to create balance not overindulging not underindulging it's finding that middle ground and accept that things can't always change that's another big point because when the mind gets overwhelmed and stressed it's looking for how can i change it and actually sometimes we just can't so it's just about accepting and being in the moment and doing the best that we can also we've just got to be thinking as well of taking some me time some self-reflection time because then there you can help to just navigate whatever maybe is going on with internally. And I just want to leave you with a last comment. In life, there is always a solution to a problem. And if we can keep our mind focused to the solution and not focusing to that problem, then we can help to really relieve and let go of that stress. So that's my little bit today about stress. And if you've got any more questions or anything more you would like me to maybe go through, then just drop me a comment down below. And of course, us here, all of us at Student Union are here. And if you want to get in contact, you can contact myself at wellbeing at ccsu.co.uk. Or you can contact any of us at hello at ccsu.co.uk. And one of our team members will definitely pick it up. Great to connect with you and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.